how many people do you think uh, engage in research in that zone? I've got I've got uh, an exact number. Okay, shoot. 90 people uh, who are the staff of the research institute and 80 uh, support staff. Uh, those are all people of your institute, of the entire um, Academy of Science that uh, work there on a permanent basis. They, uh, they go there um, daily. Of course, there are uh, certain research institutes that would send their teams from time to time uh, to the site. And uh, those are the institutions uh, within the uh, Acad National Academy of Sciences. But they uh, would be sending, as I said, their teams, research teams from time to time. And we are present there uh, permanently. That's a, a very interesting question, I think. Uh, we should assess um, uh, the number of people engaged there uh, sooner or later. Some time ago, the state agency developed uh, a document uh, dividing uh, the entire uh, group of people working there into four categories. Those who work there directly, institutions that are part of the entire research framework, and they belong to different uh, authorities, uh, but uh, what brings them together is this cross-cutting topic of Chernobyl research. Uh, they would be going there uh, from time to time, and uh, there are also people who uh, just uh, pay visits rarely when they either have the funding or uh, when uh, interest uh, Revive, uh, revives uh, for the um, research in this zone. Olena, the same question uh, to you and perhaps another one uh, also to be answered uh, uh, by you uh, is about international researchers uh, who might be interested. I would be uh, actually measuring uh, the extent of uh, research in Chernobyl, not uh, by people, but by areas of research, because you can be a researcher, a scientist, but you will be uh, sitting in your ivory tower uh, uh, doing table uh, research, uh, reading literature. But uh, the true science is uh, move, uh, advanced by uh, the teams of researchers on a site. Uh, some group will come and do uh, research on the ground, then uh, this research will be complemented by uh, the, that of some other group. And quite recently, um, uh, Hromatska uh, TV's uh, channel shot a documentary in the exclusion zone, and they uh, showed uh, up to seven research teams, up to 10 actually, uh, research teams that are currently present in the exclusion zone. As far as the international community's interest is uh, concerned, I think uh, Mr. Kashpara will uh, tell us more because he's got extensive and intensive international links.